the professor starts to shake each of you awake. What's happening? Professor, I see something. You see what looks like people walking towards you. They're humanoid shapes with green skin and long curling tongues. Claws on their hands, and their tin is muscled and taut. They certainly look undead. <clears throat> something undead. Okay. He's been waiting for undead. Initiative. Yeah. All right, initiative <coughs> 13 for Torque. How'd everyone end up with health in? Uh, I'm at 21 out, out of 25. Okay. I have 23. Out of, out of 28. 28. Okay. And I'm 17 of 17. 13. 19. 10 for Volcom. Your initiative is plus two, right? Oh, yeah. So 15. 15. What about um, Mercury? Oh, yeah. Mercury's a six. Six. Blah. Allura's first. The professor screams, careful. Their claws paralyze. <laughs> It's a new day, I haven't decided yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, Shane. God damn you, Gus. A moment of heart time. move. Eller's gonna reach into his pouch and pull out some, some items such as brimstone and toss them up into the air with an incantation of the druidic language of... Uh, I don't know what the druidic language sounds like. Hey, you saw it, yay. Um, <laughs> huh? Is that druidic? That's our Eller had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> he uses initiative. <laughs> anyway, he's going to cast a flaming sphere. Flaming uh, sphere? It's a five foot di diameter sphere. sphere. Here's an unoccupied space of your choice within range. Lasts for up to a minute. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dexterity throw. Creature takes 2d6 fire damage on a failed uh, save. Half as much on a successful one. As a bonus action, I can move it uh, thirty up to 30 feet. Nice. So right. it extinguishes in the water. Huh? No, it's all, it's all water, right? I thought it was swampy. Well, <laughs> so so what I should do then, if it's not going to do damage when I first cast it, and only on the end of their turns, I should cast it up this way then. Okay. Um, does it have its own <coughs> initiative and movement, or does it move on it your turn? Moves on my bonus action. Okay. Now there was. See page two forty two. Um, Look on 242, because I think there's something too where I can move it into a creature to do damage with it. When you move the spear, you can direct it over barriers up to five feet tall and jump it across pits ten feet wide. The spear ignites flammable objects not being worn or carried. It sheds a bright light. Doesn't say anything about it? I don't think so. Alright. Very well. So I will do that. Um, doesn't say anything about a concentration. Yeah, it says concentration here. Does it? Yep. Concentration okay. up to one minute. Oh, there, there it is, under there. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So then I should still be able to change them. That's what I was trying to figure out. Um, let's paralyze him. Um, so I'm not going to move it right now. As my bonus action, I will, I guess, turn into a bear. Okay. Did you stop being a bear? Yep. I mean, I was trancing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, well, this Whoa. bear was killing this thing. <laughs> it's a skunk. Oh. He like had it grabbed in his <laughs> claws. I'm just say he's definitely undead. Any creature yep, that ends yeah. its turn within five feet of the spear. So make sure you're not standing next to the spear itself. So it's indiscriminate. Apparently, it's fire. Hmm. As <laughs> Elor begins to speak and blow dust, he changes into a bear hmm. and creates this flaming sphere. The ghasts seem to be wary of it, but continue forward. But it is Thane's <coughs> turn. What are you doing? Attacking. Well, you, you gotta move. Oh, yeah. shit. You just fucking swing out over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're way. Smashes the fire. You're way over there right now. You gotta either move up closer or shoot a crossbow or something along those lines. You can't just attack there. I'll do a hand crossbow. All right. Do you wanna move a little closer or are you good to where you are? I, I think. I don't know the range, I guess. Um, I mean, range. -wise, I think it's thirty, sixty, or something like that, right? Um, crossbow. I think it's up to hand crossbow. Twenty. If you got closer, then shot. You good? Plus, then you're getting closer to be able to use your sword. Okay. Every time I get closer, I get fucked. I like to think that you just woke up and. <laughs> <laughs> A light crossbow is eighty, three hundred and twenty. 
Well, this is a hand crossbow. 30, 120. Okay. So right now you're at long range. Okay, so I'll get closer. Where do you want to be? Next to Mercury. So up here? One yeah. or two up? Yeah. Okay. Is there like a maximum range I can go up? Well, you need to be within 30. Okay. And you're still out of range. Yeah, I'll get... If you don't want a penalty. I'll get as close as I can while not being exactly within hand-to-hand -hand combat range. Okay. Um, like 15 feet away? I mean, just don't end next to the sphere. Like yeah. Sphere. That's good. And I can roll whatever? Yep. Just roll that and your damage at the same time. D6. Yeah. Wow. Six. Six plus <coughs> for the hand crossbow. Two. No, that's that's your damage. Oh, the tag bonus? Yeah. Nine. Oh, no, no. Uh, no six. Ten. Ten to hit? Yeah. Plus, plus ten? ten? No, no, it's plus four. No, ten total. Okay. Ten total. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you shoot at it. This thing shows amazing quickness as it dodges it oh, and continues wind. walking. Damn, whisper. So it's like the World War Z. It's like the rage zombies. All right, Torque. Okay. Um, Proggy just got up out of my sleeping bag. Um, I see the fire. I see the bear. I'm going to maneuver myself. I'm assuming they're just walking straight towards. Maneuver. Right? They seem to be. They seem to be. I'm going to maneuver and flank over to the... Uh, the, so the right flank? The right to the north there for me. Yes. Um, that way, as they get closer, I can pin them between my rage and the fire. Gotcha. Um, okay. But because they're still far away, uh, the only thing I can do is I do have a hand axe and I can't <clears throat> throw it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna oh, go so you, I think you can do that, or if you wanted to, you could ready an attack. So if one came into range before your next turn, you would attack them. But there's no, oh, okay. there's no guarantee that they do that. Um, so it depends on if you want to take a guarantee attack. No, the ready attack would probably work better. <coughs> um, one, because I don't want to lose both my axe and the swamp. Two, uh, I'm I'm trying to pin them in between the fire and myself. So I will ready attack for next time. Okay. I you know sink my <laughs> heels down a little bit. I have my battle axe ready and charging up. Okay. Well, it's a swamp, so sinking your heels now, is quite easy. Uh, since I'm readying an attack, and if they attack me, do I need to go into a rage now, or can I go into a rage then? You have to go now. I'm going to go into it now. Okay. Rage in the morning. I love the smell of rage in the morning. You're raging in the morning. Wiggling my butt like a cat about to strike. Okay. They do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is the ghast's <laughs> turn. Ghast? Yep. Ghast. At first, they were kind of shuffling, but now they sprint. What's the triangle stuff? Is that... That's rough terrain? difficult yes. terrain. I don't know if it really is that there, if it's just a matter of looking. Yeah, yes. it's all difficult terrain. It's all swamp. So this guy runs up. One, two, three. That's as far as he can go. Okay. Bear! Make a constitution save. Which is. Okay, now read six. Plus three. So nine? <coughs> yep. This one? This was easy. Like no, uh, numbers are big. 17. <laughs> seven, oh, 13. <laughs> poison. So as it comes up, it has this... For him being next to me, I'm poisoned? It has this horrifying stench that makes you wretch. <laughs> you begin to cough up all the little mice you've eaten as a bear. I just Aww. turned it on him. How many mice to swallow them whole? <laughs> On his digest trip, over from his sleeping years. bag to here. <laughs> so poison means all poison creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls and disability and and ability checks. Okay. So as long as you're poison, you have disadvantage. And it goes to attack. So just within range, he's poisoned. Within five feet. Damn. That yep. Was the claws. So the claws paralyze. Oh, paralyze. <laughs> Fortunately. Gotcha. I'm going to assume that 11 misses your armor class. No, it didn't. Oh! I'm a bear. Bears don't have very good armor class. Yay! Elor has much better armor class than the bear. I'm a bear! <laughs> All right. Well, they're just so you big. You get some armor for your bear, man. <gasps> Nine points of slashing damage, and you must make another constitution save or be paralyzed. Oh, no. It's 13 plus 3. You're fine. 16. So you take nine points of damage. Okay. Paralyzing is pretty bad. Uh, you basically can't do anything for a minute. Yeah. And if something hits you, it automatically quits you. Yeah, we remember from the, uh, the cockatrices. 
That was I seen. Yes. Well, yeah, that was that was worse. But and he'll go ahead and move again as a second action instead of attacking. Blank. Is Mercury last. Yes, Mercury's last. Welcome. All right. From here, I am well within range to fire with my crossbow, so I will do so. Okay. Try to hit the one that is uh, swinging at Thane. And I get an 18 to hit. You hit. Eight points of damage. That's pretty good. Piercing. Thane, you need to roll a constitution save. Okay. So, so as Vulcan's crossbow bolt hits this thing in the peck, it sort of explodes a little bit. Like this black bile, like just comes out of the wound, like you're popping a pimple. Like alien. And it gets on your face, oh. but you manage to close your eyes and keep your mouth closed, and it doesn't it doesn't get into you. Okay, well that's good. Okay, <clears throat> Mercury's next. So what's he gonna do? <clears throat> is, is, is our dogs, Sleep on bed. Are dogs affected Sleep by uh, their stench and everything? Like the thing that probably more so. Probably more so, yeah. Yeah, but also, I figured they'd have high tolerance, too. You know? I don't know. Why? Just because the animals are more, more closer to wild animals, subject to much harsher conditions. This isn't an animal, though. It's just a rotting corpse. Yeah. Yeah. And dead rotting. The dog will probably roll around in it. Is there going to be any issues with it, like, biting? Yeah, it's the same. Can, can, like, can, can he even move in the bite? Sure. But can he, with no... <laughs> with no drawbacks? He yeah. has to make a constitution save. Okay. okay. Once he gets within melee range. Who's closest right now? To like the enemy? Yeah. That the one, one right there in front of you. Yeah, yeah. It's closest to him. Okay, yeah, I guess he'll move within range to try to bite the one to the uh, left of me. Okay. Make a constitution save for him. So six plus whatever his uh, I think it's like two or something. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> God damn it. So he's kind of, what is he? Poison. 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 So he can still attack. But he has disadvantage on all attack rolls. Yep. So he has to roll twice and take the worst. Yeah. Okay. So the he bear will, will be the same. He will bite. Okay. Okay. Uh, five. Uh, five. Misses. So he goes in to bite. He thinks twice about it. He's shaking his head, breathing out of his nose. Doesn't like it one bit. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, got Squiller down? He's or watching. He? He's watching. Okay, gotcha. He'll come in if no, you need me. Gotcha. Watch. All right. No, so kind of a test. <laughs> I'm going to. Since this thing floats, you can float five feet above like over obstacles. Yep. It's, it's gonna be fine here, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put it there. Okay. Actually, let's put it here. Okay. Try to keep him near the flame. All right, laddie. And then hopefully push him that way. Um, and then so that's my bonus action. Push me. Uh. Yes, I'll do a multi attack. I'll attempt to bite him. Yes. yes. Um, they're both 18s! <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> nice. And then my claws 11 plus um, 5. So Is 16. Alright, so then I need. So 7, 8. 12 um, plus Drink 4 plus time. 4, so plus 8, so uh, 20. 20. Right? Mm -hmm. 8 plus 4 plus 8, so 16 plus, four. yeah, so 20. Yeah. All right, so you push past your nausea, claw, and bite this thing. The taste is terrible. It's beyond all imagination. But you did take a big old chunk out of it. Yes. Thane! He owned two 18s. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> All right, Shane, what you doing? Want to shoot with a hand crossbow? Okay. You're right next to it. All right. Damn. You'll take a penalty. Poison is not a disease, right? No. No, but you bet the thing that tried to get in your mouth is a disease. Okay. It's so like a creature tried to come out? No, no, no. Diseased like, just pustule just kind of thing. Yeah, just like the blood. Good. Uh, zombie blood. You don't want to drink it. So I'm just going to do wrathful. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? So you're not poisoned yet, too, right? Yeah. 
talked about. I do oh, bang. You need to make a constitution save, though. Any creature that starts its turn is 5B. There's a 3 plus 2? Yeah. You are now poisoned. God damn it. Can I poison them with poison spray? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably immune. They may be immune. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you do Bane? Yeah. All right. So I need to drop blood. Do I prick at my necklace that I have? Um, up to three creatures of your choice. You can see within range, must make charisma saving throws. You probably don't have the best charisma, so that might be probably good. Probably not. Whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throws. Okay. Okay. They both got 11. What's, What's, your... What's it against? So I think it's against the 13. Second or third page. Yeah, it should Your be more spells. than an 11. Spell save DC is 13. Here. All right, so they both failed. Great. So what was the effect again? Minus. So a D4, D4. whenever they attack. How long does it last? Uh, up, to, up to a minute. So 10 D, rounds. Pretty much the Okay. Pretty much the match. Cool. They are both baned. Is that an action? Uh, uh, it's one action. Yeah, it's an action. Okay. So yeah. Torque. Yeah. Torque. Okay, uh, I ready my attack. I see that the one in front of me is bloodied now. And you are raging! And he's, he's not doing well. I am raging. Um, so, I'm going to use, because it gives me a bonus attack, I'm going to use one of my attacks not to rush forward, but to try to throw my hand axe at it. Okay. And I'm going to throw it as hard as I can, not to cut into it, but to stagger it back into a flaming thing of fire as much as I can. Okay. Okay? So, that's what my attack is going to be here. I'm going to see if I can hit. Which I get a two plus five, so seven. Nope. Luckily, I have two hand axes. I have a bonus action. I'm gonna do the same damn thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a sixteen plus five, so twenty-one. That, that hits. That hits. Now you don't have advantage while you're raging, right? I have advantage on strength. Okay. Strength checks. Strength okay. Checks. Okay. So the second one hits. But I'm also staying outside of the five feet of. Yeah. All right, so the second one hits, so roll damage. Okay, that is a d6 uh, plus five. I just think that earlier, whenever I looked over at, at Torque, he probably got confused of me being like, keep him near the sphere. But instead he just got, <laughs> yeah, right. so I'm, a, I'm a bear. <laughs> so uh, eight damage All right. to, to push back and hopefully more damage. Okay, so you, you throw an ax. The axe goes into its upper thigh, mm. sort of sticks there, and it goes down to one knee. So you think it's going to have trouble moving away. Okay. Whenever you're in an animal form, I can, I can do telepathy with you and then, like, disseminate the information to everyone else so you can still communicate. Okay. I'll, I'll be Magan. So you just assume that. We'll just assume that you do that when I turn into an animal so that you yeah. can tell me. Didn't where. my readying of attack at all change any of the outcome, or it's just that's how it goes? No. Last time I readied. Yeah. So the readying attack will go until your next turn, where yeah. if something comes in ready, you, you're just ready to hit. But once your next turn comes around, it's gone. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so it's uh, the one in front of the bear tries to attack the bear. <laughs> and it hits. It's knee? It's, it's on its knees, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's still got a. It's claws, but it's just swinging it like. Yeah, it's not going to be able to move up. away from that fire spear. So it's going to take that damage. <coughs> Woo! But first, it's going to do 12 points of damage. No, wait, more than that. What? 12 uh, plus 3 is uh, 15. 15. Okay, so I'm going to And you need to roll a con save. Okay. Uh, 2. I'm a poison paralyzed bear. <laughs> you sure are. How do I unparalyze? Um, How do I unpoison? We'll have to deal with that later. Uh, I do any of these. The target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. On the end of my turn? Yep. Does Bane, like, paralyze, I get no actions, or I can't move? You can do nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. And if it, it hits you, it hits. Oh, yeah, did you get a minus four D4 or when he attacked me? Makes I, do not. I don't know um, what you rolled. Three that would have made it an eleven. 11. eleven. All right, the other one. It's gonna go up and paralyze. Have yeah. you been putting the, uh, the bane? Effect? I just asked yeah. him about it. Okay. All right. So basically, every time he tries to roll an attack, he has to roll. He's still a bear. Yeah, still a bear. Damn it. Okay. okay. All right. So, why? <laughs> so I'm gonna take. Uh, no, I only have to move one space. Yeah, I should be okay. okay. I'm gonna attack that bear. Oh, 
11 plus 5 is 16, <laughs> minus 2 is 14. No, I hit. Okay. There's no animal that I have that's higher armor class than 13. Well, I'm 13. Well, yeah. You're calling me an animal? <laughs> Oof. All right, I did 15 again. 15 damage? Yep. All right. Slashing. Slashing. All right. Um, this guy's not moving, right? Uh, he's no. not within range, but he has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, 14. Does he get Bane? Oh, yeah. I did that. Hoping it, would, it, it, it is what I think it well. is. It misses, so he'll take full 2d6 damage. Okay. Which is 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 fire damage. Alright, so... Is there any spell casting? He is trying to move away, but there's an axe in his shin. And... The back, his back skin starts to bubble yeah. as the flaming sphere gets closer. And eventually, his face starts to bubble and his skin melts off. Oh, and he dies. Give me a nose. It reminded me of Pac Man. When Pac Man dies, oh, I was thinking of Beetlejuice. All right, Bo comes next. I will move around behind. What's his name? Quicksilver? Mercury. 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 It's <laughs> close. It's close. Uh, it's close. Another hero name. You see a, a paralyzed, very bloody, hurt bear. <laughs> are you like hurt. mid pose, paralyzed, or are you just laying on the ground? I'm I'm mid roar because that's the last thing I think I did. <laughs> so it looks like you're in you're screaming, but I'm deaf. Yeah, I'm just like slashes taken out of. Gotcha. Okay, I will again <clears throat> attempt to shoot it with a crossbow. While keeping my distance. I need a crossbow. Natural 20. I turn okay. it into a bear and charge these things. No, I didn't charge. So. I prepared myself. I take max damage on one die and then roll another and add that to it? Yep. Okay. So, 8 and 6 is 14 plus 1 is 15 damage. Shoots, goes into its eye. Thane and the bear both need to roll constitution saves. I'm already got a constitution thing. I know, but it's blood. Um, 15, 16. 18. You're both good. Okay. I'm looking this way. <laughs> it just splats on the side of my head. Yeah, but your jaws are open, right? Like, as a funnel. <laughs> uh, Mercury. He's going to use... If he comes around here, he should get a flank, I think. Okay. He will do that, right? Mm -hmm. What does flank do in this one? Is it advantage Actually, or... Um, it's an optional roll. I think advantage is a little crazy, so I would say a plus two. Gotcha. So you want to move him around? Yeah, I'm going to move around the flank. <laughs> okay. And he has to roll a constitution save? He's already poisoned. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he'll try to not be poisoned at the end of his turn. So you'll get a disadvantage on your roll, but... I'm going to use bite. Okay. Oh, d20 twice and take the worst. Plus two. Plus three. Damn! Nope. Six. Three, four, five, Plus six, seven, eight. Three. eight. Okay. He is really freaked out by these wonderful new smells he's discovered. What a wonderful thing. smell you discovered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Elora. You can't do anything right. except try and save. I get no move, bonus, nothing? Nothing. This is ridiculous. Can't right. take actions or reactions. Can you move your fire towards it? That'd be a bonus action. What? You guys and can try to push it back towards the fire. And plus... Or push you... the fire. <coughs> gotcha. Ah. <laughs> I just roll a constitution? What is it? Constitution save. Yeah. At least I'm still a bear. It gives me an extra plus. Oh, damn it. Went way over there. It's an 18 plus 3. All right. You're good. We'll roll one for the poison, too. The poison? To get rid of it? Yep. Oh, man. I didn't do that last time. So he's time. not paralyzed now. Nope. 8 plus 3. 11. Yeah, he's not. Mercury needs to roll his save, too. All right. <coughs> yep. 14. 14. He's good. You know? Never mind. I, I was holding 14. I'm like, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm just... pretty sure it won't land on 14. I did that, you know, in the land on 14. But I was willed it. I don't think it was cheating. I willed it. <laughs> it wasn't like the Jumanji kid. I was, <laughs> there's more variables. <laughs> okay. Um, Thane. Yes. Okay, I'm now. You need to do the save. Is that first or last? To the end of your turn, end I believe, turn. Gotcha. right? Um, <laughs> the, no. The one was at the end of your turn. Yeah. Oh, so Is the poison not? It was nice. one of five. Chance. 
until the start of its next turn. So he can do it now? Yeah. Okay. Will he have to still roll against the other one? Because he'll be next to the one thing. Uh, if you succeed, you're immune for 24 hours. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah. What do I do? So roll against the poison with a constitution saving throw. 18. You succeed. Okay. So you're no longer poisoned. And you're a moon for... A moon. A moon, a sun, the moon, stars. <laughs> Blue. Well, that's good, because if we come across any more today, we're a moon. Yeah. You are. Well, yes. Me, Mercury, and Thane are a moon. Yes. Good job. I use wrathful smite. <laughs> sure. Okay. He's hurting. You should hit it with your... One sword. Don't well, pal- I mean, don't... You can do wrathful smite and then... Don't paladins get some kind of, like, against yeah. undead stuff? Turn uh... undead. Do you have turn on dead? I do. Uh, you also your um, vengeful smite. Ben. What's the thing? Oath of vengeance. On? No. Divine smite. Divine smite uh, does radiant damage. I say there's something oh, yeah. paladins have that's extra against undead. <clears throat> no, no, no. Divine right? smite is just. It's one of his. Yeah. It's in his. It, it's an oh, innate ability. Okay. Yeah. He gets. Yeah. A, divine smite right there. If he hits it, he can choose to add it on to Damn. his attack. Fucking, I was looking for something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to use I need to go through this with you, Rick, when we're not doing this. And... It's in the same character for three levels. <laughs> <laughs> melee instead of spell plus 2d8 radiant damage. So I think how it works is you do your melee attack with yep. your sword, and as long as you hit, you can choose to add that into it as well. Yep. So you need to hit first. I will do that. And you're no longer disadvantaged. Okay. Does he get a flank bonus? Plus two. Plus two flank bonus? So, was that eight? Eight. Yep. Plus, plus two is ten, plus... I don't know. Five. Five. So, so 15. fifteen. That hits. Roll damage, sure. and if you want to do Divine Smite, roll that damage, too. Yep. Oh, so, that, you, how many does he get per day, do you know? These Three? Divine Smites? And that. There's so many per day. Two. two per day? <coughs> it's, your well, rig, it's your normal damage, plus 2d8 radiant damage. So I believe it's his, his channel. Uh, plus 2d8, plus... Yeah. It's 2d6, plus 2d8. I haven't played yeah. Paladin yet, so... Okay. Go. Rolling. Four, seven, eight, eleven plus three equals <clears throat> eleven plus three fourteen. Yeah. Okay, so does Radiant do more on an undead? Yes, it does. So, <clears throat> like in Demon Slayer with the boulder, a strike downward so fast it can barely be seen. It begins to split into two, and then it begins to bubble and catch on fire from the holy energy. And just turned to dust. Molder. Like Frieza trunks. It's dead. He said it's dead. Oh okay. no! The Divine Smite takes his spell slots. Takes a spell slot. Okay. Yeah. So you can use it as long as you have spell slots. So you okay. take away one spell slot. All right. And you take away one for Bane as well. Yes. Oh, okay. Bane's a spell slot too. Don't you? I'm thinking after this, if we sleep to tomorrow morning, I'll have it back, right? Yes. Okay. That's All it. right. That was my thinking. So the Good encounter point. is over. I'm thinking about myself. Um, does anyone want to examine or there's only one that's it's intact. still intact? It's um, just sort of bubbled a little bit. I will. Okay. Elder's gonna shake off because he only has six hit points left of his bear, so he's gonna get rid of that. Uh, Torque is going to go get his hand axe, but before he's gonna hold his breath, put his up like this and wash it off in the swamp. Okay, as much as he can. Wash it off. In the so fire. much better in the maybe, swamp. That maybe throw it up <laughs> into the fire before it dissipates. <laughs> All right, you do so. Roll medicine. Anyone who's examining this corpse. Uh, ten. No, I'll, I'll do it too. Why not? Eight. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Eighteen for me as well. Eighteen. Eighteen plus, plus medicine. 20, 21. 21. So 21, 18, 18? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I got a 10. So, cool. Cool. Elor, <laughs> are you still a bear? No, I was turning off my bear form because I only had five hit points left in it. <laughs> okay. So, um, the three of you begin to examine the body. Elor, you notice that it is indeed aghast and undead, but it appears to also be diseased, which you find very strange because normally undead are immune to disease, poison, and the like. Mm. So whatever this disease is, maybe it is magical in some nature. Mm. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the arcane. Torque, you notice that whatever this disease is, is spreadable by being contaminated by the blood mm. of the disease. Thane, 
you learn something about the disease itself and how it works. You can recognize it's not a natural disease. A body cannot fight it by natural means. It looks like you're sort of doing like an autopsy on it. Mm -hmm. It looks like even this undead thing, it was shutting down and decomposing its organs. Okay. Magical disease? As best you can tell, it's only been affected for uh, two days. Okay. Now, the disease is the cause of both the poisoning and the par paralyzing, or is that something inherent to the... Um, yeah. No. Um, the ghast can paralyze, mm -hmm. but the um, saves you had to do when its blood got on you okay. was because of this disease. Okay. All right. Um, could I uh, ask Gus Pillar a question? Sure. Uh, professor, uh, these claws on these <laughs> ghast creatures, are they the cause of the uh, paralysis that the others experienced? Only I experienced it. The other experience? <laughs> Bear? Yes. There is a secretion that comes out of the claws. Sort of like a mm. snake's venom. Is there any application that can be used to turn this into a weapon to be used for us? <laughs> I? Mm. What would you recommend? Hmm. Well, it would be tricky. Um, you would need the venom sack tied to like a vein. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we attach that to one of the claws on the tip of a spear Ooh. or a dagger. Well, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to gather that. I do have a vial left over. Could I do that? Yes, um, you, you could also take the the poison and apply it to a blade. Or... Sure, well, I think I would best like to apply it to one of my, one one of my uh, Two of my javelins. I have four total. Okay, so there's only the one left. Gotcha. So right. you you have enough for seven doses. Seven doses. So we split it up then. If you're doing like a tip of an arrow, mm -hmm. is that like a dose? Yeah. It's each a... each application to a weapon would be like a dose of it. So if you're gonna have seven arrows, that's all the doses. Yep. Yeah. So be better. Mm. So if I did do a sword, how long would it stay on the sword? One. One attack. One attack. Anyway, you're getting one attack. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, so you can write this down. Um, so the poison, if it hits, and it's not an undead creature, they must succeed on a DC 10 Constitution save or be paralyzed for one minute. Okay. So how who's all how are we sh divvying this up? It's up to you. I would like one dose. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm taking two, putting two on two of my javelins. I don't believe I need it. I. Typically, don't attack with my sword. You sure? Because so, I'll take one of my sword and then. And I'm the not other. about to put this poison onto the claws of my animal forms. So I'll take one of my sword and then three for three arrows. Okay. All right. So that's one for Calvin. Yeah. Two for me, and then <coughs> Shane gets four. Four. Okay. Yeah. So what was the uh, What was uh, the effect again? Uh, DC mm -hmm. ten con save or paralyzed. Okay. Uh, Rick, real quick, javelin. Uh, what's the attack bonus and damages for that? You know what, Shane? I mean, they're made so, to be thrown. Perhaps me having your one dex. Okay. In a, in a situation um, where I need it. I'll have... It's a d6 piercing. give you piercing. three, three, two, and then one, one. And it's thrown, yeah, I'll take so two it's the same as your hand axes two. for the attack. I'll take one okay, or whatever. Plus five. Yep. And right. the plus for the damage. So Aaron's taking one as well. I'll its range one. is 30 slash 120. All right. Do you dispose of its body? Oh, uh, man, it's a disease like this. We should at the very least burn it or bury it. I don't believe my flame is extinguished quite yet. Perhaps we can use it. Okay. Do you like a vacuum? Roll a stick, roll with a stick or something. Well, if we, <laughs> if we move back, I'll move my sphere. On Let's do that. All right, you burn it up. Your adrenaline is still pumping. Eventually, you're able to go back to sleep. I'm still raging. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> like crazy, Angry snoring. I have like crazy sleep apnea. That's not bad. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, you get your full benefits of a long rest. Alrighty. So I'm back to 25. So you're back to max. Your right, hit dice can... are back and your spell slots are back. They were already back. I had four hours. So. I had four hours. I do it again. <laughs> you wake up as you're having breakfast. A thick fog hangs heavily over the chill swamp, turning the sun into a weak red glow. Dead trees loom like skeletons in the mist, and everywhere is the stench of rotten death. 
The silence is broken by a terrible thrashing sound. There are cries of frightened horses mixed with the ragged screams of the dying. A horse emerges from the mist. A horse emerges from the mist, dragging its fallen rider behind. It's difficult to discern the rider's race or gender, for the torso should be are just wet loops of intestines dragging through the grass and mud. Okay. But it's on a horse? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Well, it's being drugged by the stirrup. Was this in the direction we were heading? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget, you can get early access and see next week's episode already over at patreon.com slash blindway. Huh? And make sure you guys are subscribing or following over at twitch.tv slash blindway because we also had a one shot over there of Trail of Cthulhu. Mm, Maybe we'll have yeah. more in the future that people enjoy.